outside. Uh, weather is breaking, coming nice again. Uh, we have to be very watchful and very careful of the children. Hi, I'm Phil Grice. For almost 50 years, I've been a cinematographer working mostly on documentary films. Prior to my career, I was an elementary school teacher for three years, full-time, employed by the New York State, New York City Board of Education. During my third year of teaching, I taught at the school behind me, the Rafael Hernandez Langston Hughes Public School 30. At the time, it was called Community School 30. During the spring of 1970, I decided to make a direct cinema approach documentary, A Day in the Life of this Harlem Elementary School. I shot for five weeks. I was the producer, the director, the editor, A and B roll cutter. I did the sound, and I did the still photography. Incredibly, I shot one and a half to one ratio. Shot Tri-X plus X 16 millimeter film. Today, I realize that not only has this film never been publicly screened or shown, it has metamorphosed into a um, social document. In my opinion, it is the only film, based on my research, ever made in the 60s or 70s that profile a day in the life of an elementary school. I always favored the direct cinema approach. I used to love Robert Flaherty, and then subsequently I realized that Ricky Leacock filmed his very last film, Louisiana Story, and he coined the phrase, a feeling of being there. And that's what I wanted to replicate when I did my own Harlem School 1970. What happens in a classroom? How do the children behave during lunchtime, in the play yard, their songs, unusual aspects of discipline, especially at that time, administration policy, all of that I tried to capture so that uh, one would come away with being a fly on the wall and being able to experience what I experienced, the exhaustion and the energy that it took to be a school teacher. We're going back to 1969, 1970, when decentralization was in its infancy in Harlem. It created lots of challenges for administration, for teachers, and for the New York City Board of Education itself. I realized that Harlem School 1970 has um, a lot to offer in terms of a social document. We're looking at a day in the life of a Harlem school almost a half a century ago, and one of the early examples of direct cinema. Harlem School, 1970.